It was a day like any other. The wind blew steadily as I thought to myself, what game should I play today? And then it dawned on me. I haven't eaten yet. You know, I've been thinking, with all the Minecraft lookalikes, when would one finally come up with a different twist and concept? I mean, I've played so many of them from Terraria, Castle Miner, to even Seven Days to Die, yet all of them felt like they had the same purpose. And that purpose is... To be freaking awesome! I mean, to allow you to create some epic architecture. But now, after a while, my mind has begun to wonder if something else can be made from this simple idea. And then BAM! BOOM! Sowie! It came flying at me like a hammer smashing into your own hand. <coughs> Magicite, a game that promises not only the ability to craft from weapons to armor, but run as if it were some type of roguelike game. It was too good to be true. It could be playing Minecraft and FTL all at the same time. And with that, I strapped myself in and prepared for an adventure. Now, Magicite was created by an indie company formerly known as Smash Games. Smash Games is known for making many iOS games such as Pixel Kingdom, and that game is epic. So once I realized this, I had to try it to see if it was as good, or even better. And man was it better. You start the game off at the title screen where... Wait a second, no music? You heard it right, folks. In Magisite, the title screen doesn't have any sound at all. Now, I know it's a simple nitpick, but trust me when I say that you'll see the main screen a lot due to the deaths that you'll accumulate over your gameplay. So let's see here. Single player, multi... Wait, it's multiplayer? Now this simply triumphs all the music that any title screen can muster. I take it back, everything that I said, and I'm really sorry, Magicite, for you are still absolutely amazing. But let's step aside from all that and step directly into the core gameplay itself. When you first start a game, it will have you select a race, variation, and hat. Each race comes with its own perks, making the gameplay different and varying in some interesting ways. For instance, every single race starts with its own arsenal of tools. Whether it be tools for war or mining, your gameplay experience will be drastically altered. Also, there is a slot with a question mark, which means that you will get a randomized item. This varies from your average stick to a stone sword. In order to unlock these characters, one must either be in the right biome at the right time, unlock with a cheat code, or complete some sort of challenge. Challenges can vary from completing the entire game within a certain amount of time to slaying 15 monsters in a single playthrough. After unlocking some characters, you're going to want some hats. Each hat has its own bonus that can increase your chances of survival. Some of them can increase stats per level in order to make each level up count to its fullest potential. Others will increase your chances of getting gold or some items depending on what you kill or what you mine. After selecting your hats, you are then ready to enter the extensive world of Magicite. Now the first thing you'll notice is the landscape itself. In the beginning, you always start off in the forest biome. Forest biomes are no doubt the safest areas and are specifically designed to teach the player about the game. Chances of finding pigs and ores, for instance, is greater than finding them in other biomes. There are of course exceptions to this, but overall the forest biome is your friend. If you start feeling a little overpowered, then it might be wise to select the green forest biome door in order to train a little more. Always remember, Magicite players, farming is not always a bad thing. Another biome that I find to be useful is the Tundra biome. This biome is still not too difficult, but increases the enemy encounter chance by 5%. Also, every enemy in the Tundra biome gives you a larger amount of experience, making it incredibly useful for leveling up. Some of these enemies include fairies, knights, and yetis. Try to avoid the yetis if at all possible, because they will wreck your world. Once you're done fighting your way through countless enemies, you will come across a village. 
In the villages, you are able to smelt ores, buy items, and craft armor for the next biome to come. Essentially, while in town, it is best to decide what is most useful for the biome you're currently heading to. If you're going somewhere with stronger enemies, then it would be wise to craft some armor for the journey. If you plan on mining a ton of ores, you should look into investing in a stronger, more reliable pickaxe. Also, there is one thing that you should always keep in mind. If you're badly injured, be sure to cook some food or buy any sort of healing items while in town. Even if you have full health, be sure to buy any potions or items that can eventually heal you. The smartest thing that any player can do while playing Magicite is to stock up on a good supply of healing items.